Is there any doubt in your mind that masks prevent the person who's wearing it from getting COVID, or at least are, are helpful? I would say they are very helpful in reducing the chances that the person will get COVID because it's reducing the amount of virus that you would inhale from the uh, air around you. It's not guaranteed that it's going to protect you because our masks are not 100% effective. We talk about N95s being 95% you know, efficient at filtering out particles if they're properly fitted and everything. And so that's in an ideal world. But e even so, if you, you know, instead of breathing in 100 viruses, I'm breathing in 20 because my mask was 80% effective, that's a huge reduction and that greatly reduces the chance that I'm going to become infected. There was a lot of controversy over whether or not masks worked at all. Were you able to show that they worked scientifically? We were able to show that they block particles that are the same size of, that carry the virus. Because um, we, at that time, we were not working directly with the coronavirus. So we use kind of substitute particles that were the same size. The way a mask works is through filtration, which is not sieving. So we're not just pouring, pouring our pasta through and letting the, the big chunks you know, not go through the holes, but it's a t really a different process. So what happens is that the virus is being carried through in the air and it has to go, it's not just going straight through those holes, it has to like weave around all these layers of, of fibers in there. And as it's going around, the air is going around the curves, the virus may crash into one of those fibers and so then it's trapped or maybe it comes up close to the fiber and brushes against it. And the really small particles, like, like the virus by itself, if, that's, if it were by itself, would be small enough that it undergoes these random motions because um, it's getting bounced around by the gas molecules and it ends up crashing into the, the fibers of the mask too. And so there was you know, accumulating evidence and there had been kind of a handful of papers before that too showing the same thing, that masks, even cloth masks do something. We did a study of different types of cloth masks and showed that it's not just the filtration efficiency of the material but also and of how flexible it is and how well it can fit to the face. You once gave me an analogy of, it's like somebody running through a forest and there's yes. a million trees. Yes, you could think of a mask as being like, if, if I shrink myself down to the size of, of a particle, trying to get through that mask is like me trying to run through a forest where, okay, if I were going slowly, I'd be able to navigate through those trees, but I'm being forced through this forest at high speed, I am running, and I cannot possibly maintain that speed without crashing into the trees.